All right, well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm uh, here with Insurance and Fire Safety Commissioner John King, Georgia Emergency Management and Homeland Security Director Homer Bryson. Um, as you know, over the last few days, federal, state, and local uh, officials from across the country have been closely monitoring the storm development in the Atlantic. Around 2 p.m. today, Tropical Storm Dorian was upgraded to a Category 1 hurricane. Currently, projections are very uncertain, but we're committed to the safety of Georgia families across our state. And as we move into the Labor Day weekend, we wanted to give the public an update on the state's ongoing storm preparations. We have been working with federal emergency and management officials, state and local governments, private sector businesses, and also our neighboring states. In these situations, it's incredibly difficult to forecast where this storm will go and how severe the effects may be. Over the next 24 hours, we, ha we hope to have a clearer picture of Dorian's trajectory. And throughout that time, we will continue to monitor the situation, give regular briefing briefings, and take actions to keep our citizens safe. Right now, weather officials project that Hurricane Dorian may continue to strengthen, and the cone of the impact could move along the coast of Florida Georgia and South Carolina, or it could move up through Florida and then through parts of South Georgia. It's very difficult to tell at this moment. But I will tell you that we are already weighing considerations on how to uh, potentially handle evacuation scenarios, including evacuations out of Florida into, the, into Georgia inland from Georgia's coast and what, may, what that may mean for traffic on our roadways throughout the southeast. Those discussions also include how we will manage vulnerable populations, including the elderly, hospital populations, the homeless, and inmates. It's all part of our ongoing discussions, and we're also watching closely on how this will affect fuel supplies. Importantly, if you plan on traveling to the coast or to Florida for this long weekend, Please keep a very close eye on the weather. Your safety is vitally important. Be vigilant. We have not yet declared a state of emergency, but we will continue to monitor developments. And now to give more details on emergency response preparedness, I'll turn it over to GEMA Director Homeland, uh, Homer, uh, excuse me, GEMA Director Homer Bryson. Homer. Good afternoon. Uh, we began actively monitoring this weather uh, earlier uh, in the week and with the forecast that came in this morning, we feel that it is prudent that uh, we stand up the state uh, uh, emergency operations center uh, at noon tomorrow. We've already been in contact with FEMA. Uh, we were on a conference call with them today. We'll have a FEMA representative in the state operations center with us tomorrow. Friday morning, we'll actually have a, a FEMA incident management team in place with us. We're working with our state partners, our National Guard partners, uh, to identify resources that we perhaps will need in the coming days. Uh, we're reaching out to the local governments to uh, touch base and see what their needs and what their concerns are. Uh, we will be uh, having a uh, briefing tomorrow at noon at the State Operations Center. And after that, uh, we'll be available for a press conference. And with that, I'll turn it over to Commissioner King. Obviously, it's incredibly important at this point that preparation is the key word uh, as when we're dealing with a natural disaster. Uh, obviously, as important as there is to save our valuables, our property, and even our lives. And with Dorian approaching, I'm urging uh, all Georgians in the potentially affected area to take action uh, to start not only protecting themselves but also take care of their, of their valuables, clearly by doing things, important things like uh, copying all important documents, getting uh, copies of, of their insurance information, uh, obviously things that the people in the coastal uh, parts of Georgia are very well aware of. Uh, getting important information like their phone numbers, inventorying their personal belongings, and obviously safeguarding the important documents. Um, starting to build things like we call a, a go kit, 
where you can uh, safeguard your important documents, precious uh, photographs that cannot be easily replaced, where you can, if the decision is made to evacuate, then you can secure your, those items very quickly. And obviously, taking prudent measures to start securing your property, you know, looking at getting the supplies necessary to reinforce and, and protect uh, windows, you know, glass, those kind of a common sense approach that uh, coastal Georgians are very well aware of. Uh, we stand uh, ready, uh, obviously, with our brothers and sisters at GEMA and all the other agencies to, uh, pr to assist. And obviously, once the effects of the storm, uh, if they come into our state, we stand prepared to go to the, uh, those affected areas to help people with insurance claims and those kind of actions to help people get back on their feet as quickly as possible. Uh, we will continue to stand with uh, Governor Kemp and uh, Homer Bryson to assist uh, other agencies and Georgians uh, wherever needed. Thank you. All right, thank you, Commissioner and, and Homer. Uh, I just want to continue again to urge everyone to use extreme caution uh, in, in their preparedness to be ready. Um, we're, we're not exactly sure where this storm is going to go, um, but you need to start preparing now if you're in the coastal communities for sure. Uh, we'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more. We, we feel like we'll know a lot more as we see the path develop the rest of the evening and into the early morning hours, and we'll certainly be briefing you on that. Um, you know, a lot of these areas, unfortunately, have been through this many times, uh, so our departments are very well prepared, but I know our citizens will be as well. Uh, they just need to be thinking about that, have, their, have that on their radar as we move into this holiday weekend. Uh, which is it's just an unusual time to be experiencing a storm like this. And with that, we'll be glad to take any questions. Well, certainly the, the wider the path is spread, the more difficult it is in preparedness, I think, and also and then in the response, but I can assure people that we will be prepared and ready. Uh, we've already had discussions with the National Guard. Uh, I've been in contact with General Cardin earlier today. I know Homer has as well. Uh, they are ready to go. They're just, just waiting on our word if we need them. Um, you know, I, I think the thing that makes it difficult for, for really all these areas is we've been hit before. Uh, we don't need to hit, be hit again, but we don't have much control over that. The best we can do is prepare for it, protect your belongings, uh, protect your home, and make sure that you're ready to move very quickly uh, in the next 24 hours or so. All right. All right. Thank you very much.